Yeah, I've been watching the guy with a Sherline lathe, and he put some gang tooling on it. Oh, on YouTube, his name is Marion the Goat. Uh, M-A-R-I-O-N. Anyway, he had put a 13-inch mill bed, cross slide from a mill, onto his lathe. And I happened to have an extra one laying around after an A to Z conversion I'd done years ago and realized it and stuck it on my little lathe. Now my lathe has gotten a little big for the wall, so I've had to slant it. So now, therefore, I guess it's a slant bed lathe. I put some five volt proximity sensors on as uh, limit switches, homing switches. I built an outboard support for the lead screw with a bearing, uh, mostly because I had the bearing sitting there and it just happened to fit the quarter 20 lead screw. And uh, I was tired of that thing whipping around. So it does clean it up a little bit and uh, probably going to do the uh, modifications that uh, Luis, aka Triley, uh, has done to his Gibbs. He uh, threaded a screw, mounted a washer on it so it slides it in and out minutely and keeps it very accurate. Uh, I have uh, Hooked up the home switches, as I said, and sometimes they work. No, I'm teasing. They work. There's your X, and as soon as it gets through, it'll home in the Z, and then uh, it'll go down. And it's got a vein on there that that cuts it, interrupts the beam. But uh, yeah, I'm planning on putting, I don't know, three, four, five gang tools on there. Maybe when Mach 4 comes out, I can use a rear tool post also. Who knows for the cutoff tool, but uh, we'll figure out something. And uh, anyway, just wanted to keep y'all posted on what I haven't done in the last couple of months. Anyway, that should be it. Pretty quiet. You don't see any whipping on that screw now. That was a rabbit now. Z, I haven't done anything about. I think it's going to get some kind of Delrin bushing in it, though, to get it to quit whipping around up inside its tube that it fits in. See ya.